welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. We've got another guest at the table. I told you this is going to be an action-packed show. <laughs> Joining us at the table is Candy Minnick from Mount Sterling and the Gateway Regional Arts Center. Welcome to the oh, table. Yay. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, so I have to comment on something before we get started. We do this thing with our guests. I don't know how we do it, <laughs> but we end up dressing the same. So we've got blue and blue, yes. plaid and plaid, and pink I and pink. <laughs> I mean, it's, just it's, like it just, it's meant to happen every time. <laughs> it is. So you are not here to talk to us about outfits. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thank you. you. You joined the mind mill today. So you're here to talk about an upcoming spring festival that's going to be happening in Mount Sterling. Tell us about it. So the Nancy Green Pancake Queen Spring Festival, this is our second annual festival. We kicked it off last year. This year, um, we've added some more interactive things that the community is really going to, I think, be excited about. For those of you that don't know, Nancy Green was born in Montgomery County in 1834. Um, she was the first Aunt Jemima. She was portrayed Aunt Jemima and uh, was America's first living trademark, and she was born in Montgomery County. Oh. And so she left, you know, Kentucky with a family, went to Chicago, uh, took care of that family, and through the course of uh, different things that happened, events, uh, she became the first Aunt Jemima. <laughs> and so she was, you know, an entrepreneur, a, a brand ambassador for um, RT Meals that eventually became Quaker Oats. So beyond that, she was a missionary. She grew her church in Chicago to be one of the largest churches in the the state. Wow. And um, she is just such a phenomenal human being and was such a phenomenal woman that we wanted to continue to highlight her. So the festival is is that a way for us to give back to her. And so the festival is not just vendors. It's just not food and, and retail mm -hmm. vendors. But we are doing um, things that are going to also highlight the, the young adults in our community mm -hmm. because of her culinary background and her you know, what she brought to the table, we do a junior chef competition. Oh. So it's all Kentucky Proud products, and we've got three different junior chef teams, and those kids are going to cook, do a cook-off, and we have local celebrity judges. Yeah, so, so, for, for, so, for, so, so many things going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what kind of vendors are going to be there, too? So we're going to have um, food trucks, um, retail vendors, crafts, um, you know, all kinds of different um, types of food are going to be there. We're going to have a chili cook-off. Mm -hmm. First responders are doing a chili oh, cook-off. Oh, that's always good. Yeah. So in addition to the junior culinary competition, we're going to have the cook-off with um, the fire departments in town. So they're going to get a trophy and bragging rights. Who's got the best chili, <laughs> right. right? And so we're also going to be having um, pancake a pancake breakfast that we will be selling um, well, in the Nancy course. Green booth. Yes. And that, um, those products are going to be donated by the local Kiwanis club there in Mount Sterling. Now, Kiwanis knows how to do some pancakes. Yes, they you do. always <laughs> see Kiwanis true. doing some pancakes. Uh -huh. yes. They're going to have their breakfast that morning, and then they close at 10, and then we kick off the festival at 10, and so they're going to donate their products to us to I continue to sell the breakfast throughout love the day. That. Now, Candy, this is definitely going to be a fun event, and you've touched a little bit on educational things, but what else will we be able to learn and, and do as far as activities to learn more about? Her? Well, the Gateway um, Regional Arts Center is also um, going to have an area Area where they're doing poetry and um, art projects mm -hmm. so uh, students local and uh, in anybody in the state of Kentucky up to the age of 21 was able to submit art and poetry oh. and so then they will be highlighting uh, those dis they'll be on display there at the courthouse mm -hmm. square you can vote on those they're going to get um, uh, scholarships for whoever is chosen and they'll be doing poetry readings and um, they'll have different students talking about their art whether you know they they drew a portrait or whatever mm -hmm. that looks like so we're gonna have a lot of moving parts going on that day um, so it's gonna be something I think for everybody in yeah. the community no matter what age bracket you are you're gonna mm -hmm. find something you're gonna enjoy I'd like to go back to that historical context really quickly because this is the second year that you all are doing a festival in honor of Nancy Green yes and I think that we know historically the Aunt Jemima character has been celebrated and it's also been problematic for some people to the point where um, Aunt Jemima was recently taken off the bottle. Yes. So I really appreciate that you all are reframing this as a celebration of her mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur, as a community yes. leader, and not just a caricature. Correct. Um, is that kind of what gave birth to this, is the whole 
so the controversy and the reframing nationally that happened? That's, a good it, that's what brought it to light, personally, mm -hmm. for me. Born and raised myself in Montgomery County when that all came to light and, and there was a lot of conversation about it. We felt that we had to make sure that she was still highlighted yes. and that and that her her legacy will live on. And, you know, she was the portrayal of Aunt Jemima, but that's not who she was right. as a whole. She yeah. was and so much more. She was a brand ambassador. She was an entrepreneur coming from humble beginnings, you know, born into slavery in 1834 and then from rural Kentucky. And now she's on this big stage in Chicago in 1893. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Flap, making flapjacks becomes the pancake queen. They mm -hmm. coin her the pancake mm -hmm. queen after this festival and she sold 50,000 boxes of pancakes and was with that company for 30 years. Gosh. In our opinion, Quaker Oats would not be where they are today and be the brand they are today no. without Nancy Green. Absolutely I not. know that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And you know, Mount Sterling is such a, an incredible community, yeah. smaller community, but yet huge heart. If people want to attend this, where do they find out more information about it? They can um, visit the, our local tourism um, website. Uh, Tracy Pierce, you guys have had her on many times. Um, she's amazing and, and such a, you know, a partner for us. And then also they can um, look at our website. It's uh, www.thenancygreenproject.org. Uh, we have a scholarship program, which is primarily, you know, this is the scholarship program is the foundation mm -hmm. for the festival. So anything you can donate will go to local Montgomery County High School students. Last year we were able to um, uh, give away, I think it was over $15,000, seven scholarships, and we're, we hope to be able to do that again That's, this year. Yeah, and Incredible. if folks want to, they can take their phone right now, walk up to Ooh. the screen, <laughs> they can scan this QR code, and they can get more information, and they can get tickets. Like, we like to make it easy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's talk to Kentucky. We like to, to make it as easy as possible so you all can do that. Well, Candy, I'm just so excited about this festival, and I'm excited about you taking um, something that historically has is like the American story. Yes. There are things to celebrate. There are things that we have to recontextualize because they're problematic. Yep. And I love that you all are doing that with this festival so that we can celebrate her, eat pancakes, learn yes. something, mm -hmm. and have a good time. I mean, right. yes. Yes. We always say life's short, eat, eat pancakes. <laughs> Right, so <laughs> that's yeah, so true. I love it. Candy, thanks so much for being on thanks the show. Thanks for having we me. Really appreciate thank it. You, thank you so much. Okay, everybody, stay with us. Coming up after the break, we're going to highlight a woman we're talking about who's a super strong autism awareness and acceptance advocate.